When I think of classy, I don't think of a top hat and a, and a monocle. If I ever got one monocle, I'd wear two at a time and with bug eyes and wear two monocles at a time. That's, I'm extra classy. I work at a, at a bar and people leave business cards a lot. And uh, this one made me laugh. Just gonna flash it here. And I'm not making fun of the company, it's just the, the presentational business card. It's a touch of class catering. And right here, there's a picture of a top hat and a rose. At a glance, I didn't think, hey, a top hat, that's classy. I saw a top hat and a rose, and I thought, oh, somebody's doing a play of Jack the Ripper. That was my first thought. I didn't think, oh, top hat, that's, that's classy. I, I just thought, Jack the Ripper. Because normally, whenever they do a book on Jack the Ripper, there's a top hat and a rose on the cover. So I thought, oh cool, you know, there's a local theater company doing a production of Jack the Ripper. You know, he was a classy serial killer. He was, he was British. I do not understand why in movies, whenever they're in ancient Rome or ancient Greece, everybody has really thick British accents. They should have outrageous Italian accents. They should be like the Mario Brothers. I would like to see a, a theatrical production of Julius Caesar, but everybody in Mario Brothers outfits. And then when they stab him at the end, they they do that power down sound. Burr, 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 burr. Or the Mario Brothers theme song, that movie. The, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. You know, while they're stabbing Julius Caesar. Ba -na 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 -na. But the only way they can make it classy is if they have a top hat and a rose uh, design tie. You know, that with flashing lights that said, classy. When I think of classy, I don't think of a top hat and a, and a monocle. If I ever got one monocle, I'd wear two at a time. and With bug eyes and wear two monocles at a time. That's, I'm extra classy. When I think of classy. I think of when you go to a strip joint and you go to the champagne room and the woman puts a, a washcloth, a dry washcloth on your lap. You know, I think that's classy. And I say that every time I go to. That's, thank you very much. That's very classy. The, the reason why they put the cloth there, I thought it was to keep any danglies she might have off of your clothes, but in fact it's to absorb in case the gentleman goes off. If he uh, comes to fold, if he... Uh, what's another uh, euphemism for ejaculate? If, or, if he... Uh, if his John Thomas spits up because he's so happy... <laughs> I think instead of a face cloth, they should put a bounty towel because it is the quicker picker upper. Or is that brawny? I don't know my I don't know my paper towel slogans very well. There was brawny, there's bounty. One's called the quicker picker upper, or it was. That would make a great paper towel commercial. You know, a, a balding, older, chubby gentleman like myself, all classy with a top hat. Wink. You know, he goes to a strip club. They take him in the back champagne room and then place a bounty towel, you know, a little bounty paper towel on his lap. Just in case he comes. Missed opportunity, you know, for bounty, the bounty hunter towel. Boba Fett was a bounty hunter. I know it's rude, right? That's rude. Rude is when somebody gives you something and then before you have time to say thank you they say you're welcome that is way ruder way way more rude way m ruder or way more rude saying you're welcome before the other person has a chance to say thank you is way more inconsiderate than not saying thank you I think. I think the only way saying you're welcome and remaining classy is if you have a top hat on at the same time. 
I <laughs> I don't associate top hats with class. I associate top hats with Jack the Ripper and Slash from Guns N' Roses. Guns and or Roses. Or that other Velvet Velvet Revolver. That was that was a different band. He was Slash's Snake Pit. That would be a good name for a strip joint. I think Slash's Snake Pit would be a great name for a strip joint and you could do your bounty paper towel commercials there. Classy.